Uh, and then, and then uh, on the complete opposite end of the spectrum, I was, totally the other <laughs> end. <of the> spectrum. <laughs> I was playing some uh, some of nine nine nine, which is nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. I think that's right. I believe that's right. Uh, I think Randy you talked about this briefly a few episodes ago, but it's a uh, basically a visual novel for the DS. So, and what that means, if you're not familiar, is it's a uh, it's been a traditionally Japanese genre. It's mostly uh, storyline so these characters they just talk a lot <laughs> and you you read about a and it's basically like reading a like a, a book and then occasionally there's a puzzle you have to solve or uh you know you in this case you pick whether you want to go through door number one or door number two or something like that so this is a pretty new experience for me and uh it took me a little while to get into because it's it starts up kind of slow and it is very uh like i said for the most part you're just reading and that it, the the plot is kind of you know, esoteric to begin with uh but eventually just it grew on me and uh by the end of it i was just totally blown away the uh the story just unfolds and it's it's uh one of the most complex stories i've uh, run into in a game and then uh by the like at the end of it, I was totally getting a sort of a Christopher Nolan Inception or a, the Prestige vibe from it. Just uh, I was oh, just wow. imagining like, okay, as soon really? as I finish this, I, I got to oh. go back and and do this again and and pay attention to what's in. going on. See if you know the stuff I know now how that affects everything. Well, I mean, you kind of piqued my interest. It's, it's really good. <laughs> I, um... It really took me by surprise at the end and. Um, you know, not not playing any visual novels before. Um, I'm not as familiar with the sort of tropes that go along with them. But it actually, I was reading up on a little bit after I finished it, and it seems like it incorporates a lot of them pretty well into the the storyline and also the gameplay, which is probably kind of difficult to understand just hearing me talk about it. But if you give it a shot, uh, I think you'll you know you'll put it together, and it's it's real cool. I definitely want to try this now. I was not sold. I uh, and I certainly didn't get through it, so I, I can't comment on the end game by any means. Um, so I, I'm, I'm not clear on the way that it all sort of came together. But uh, I think I probably put uh, two hours maybe into it, yeah. and uh, it really just sort of felt aimless to me, and I really just uh, got tired of reading. I think. Wow. When when it was sort of presented as a visual novel, I think I sort of got the impression that it was going to be like Hotel Dusk. Um, which is sort of text heavy and, and you have to hold your DS like a book. Mm. So <laughs> yeah. it sort of feels like a novel. So I, I think maybe I sort of confused genres or, or, or concepts anyways. Um, but it is uh, quite dense <laughs> with text and dialogue. Um, and it's just sort of static images of characters with their mouths animated and moving, right? Pretty much, yeah. It is pretty um, similar to Hotel Dusk, I think. Oh, I didn't really think no. so. I was like into Hotel Dusk. And <laughs> that's that's what nine 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 just did not connect for me at the beginning. I'm and I, I'm impressed that you uh, uh, liked the the finale as much as you did. So I, I will definitely have to uh, uh, pick up where I left off and, and try to hammer. Well, so it. here's the thing. So here's my caveat to anyone who's going out to play this. Um, like uh, most visual novels, apparently it's got all these multiple paths through the storyline and all these multiple endings. And you end up like the first time, unless you're, you know, you're you're incredibly lucky, you're probably going to end up with one of the bad endings, where just your spoiler, your character gets like murdered horribly. And, <laughs> but then it gives you the option to go back and restart with, uh, you know, the information you now know, and uh, you know, try and get that best ending. And I so I went through it a couple times, and got two it, or three. Well, different it sort bad of lets endings. you jet through. All of the tasks. Yeah, unless you right? unless you, you fast forward. The uh, the one hang up I had is it makes you do the puzzles uh, completely over, and even though you know the solution to all the puzzles, by the third or fourth time you're playing it, it's kind of like, man, I don't want to do this puzzle again. <laughs> I wish I wish you <laughs> oh, would just. That does sound kind like, of uh, crappy. Let you fast forward through that. But uh, so here's the thing: after you get two or three of the endings, you're feeling a little fed up. Just go find uh, somebody made a flow chart of how to get the uh, like the true ending. I'm so, sorry if I'm like totally ditching my uh, my visual novel gamer cred here by using a flowchart. <laughs> um, but go look up. Just it tells you which doors to choose to go the uh, the way you want to go. 
And man, by the end of it, it's... Well, it's always door number three, <laughs> isn't it? You'd be surprised. <laughs> by the end of it, it's just uh, it, like everything comes together and it's uh, it's amazing. Like the final puzzle, it's it's kind of like, like I laughed when I saw it because I was like, oh, I can't believe this. But it was also just, it blew my mind. It was like, this is perfect. This is, uh, hmm. it's so appropriate and it's it's silly and it's it's uh, it's great. Cool. I certainly like the conceit. I like sort of the the, the 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 survival horror I guess scenario it presents um I just uh I just didn't I felt like it felt like a plod it didn't, didn't feel like it had my attention so I'll have to I'll have to give it another go yeah it's 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 kind of slow like the first couple of times you go through you don't learn uh, too much about the characters um, but you know as you compile these uh, subsequent playthroughs you sort of piece together their backgrounds and why they're all here and how that makes sense for everything to be happening the way it is. Hmm. Cool. But yeah, strongly recommend it. One of the uh, the best DS games I've played. 